Hello everybody, Mike Maloney with the Veterans Memorial Park and Digital Library. We're here at the, uh, in Kansas City, Missouri uh, for the VFW National Convention. And we started doing interviews this morning and we're up to 15. And can you believe we have not interviewed anyone from Missouri yet? But here she is. Uh, please tell us who you are and spell your last name. Jarena Floyd, F-L-O-Y-D. All right, well, Jarena, thank you so much for talking with us. Uh, please uh, go back, uh, tell us your origin story, uh, where you came from, where you went to school, uh, and how you got in the military. Well, I went to Southwest High School here in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, raised in a two-parent home. Um, my dad was Army, and cool. he was in the Korean War. He's 91 now, yes. Um, he lives here in Missouri? Yes. He lives with me in my house. So yes. Tell me about him in Korea. Okay. Um, he did a short stint. Back then it was still segregated pretty well. Um, and his second lieutenant told him to come here, boy, and do something. And my husband said, sir, I'm not a boy. My name is not boy. And he was brought up on charges of insubordination, and he had a court martial, and he was discharged from the military from that one incident. And he didn't encourage me or any of my other siblings to join the military, but I did high school ROTC, and we went to, I was on the all women's drill team. Um, and we went to different competitions in different parts of the state of Missouri. And my parents would always drive wherever it was to our competitions because, you know, that was my dad's life. That's what he enjoyed. But, you know, it just got cut short. And so after, my, well, my senior year in high school, my boyfriend at the time knew I wanted to join the Army right after school. And he said, no, you can't go. And I'm like, I'm going and I wind up pregnant and so I guess he figured well since you got a baby you won't go well I left the baby with my parents I went to basic training at Fort Jackson and then I went to, my first duty station was in, well I did my training for a job I was medical supply and I did that training at Fort Sam Houston Texas and then when did you go to, to when did you when did you go to Fort Jackson? When did you oh, go to oh, the time was um, February of two thousand no February of nineteen ninety eight. Ninety eight, okay. Yes. And then you went to East Jackson and Sam Houston. Yes. And then my first duty station was um, in Germany. Ooh, it's where? Uh Hermesons, oh, Germany. Oh nice. Which nice. is about fifteen minutes from the French border. Mm -hmm. Um and I had a brother in the Air Force. He's three years older than me. Oh, this is this. <laughs> He's three years older than me, and he actually made a career. He did 29 and a half years of active duty. Um, in the Army? Air Force. Air Force. Yes. Um, and we were both in Germany at the same time. He was stationed in Wiesbaden, Germany. And so uh, this was back when there was an East and a West Germany. Okay. Um, and so, let's see, after I left Germany, I got married, came back to Kansas City, got married, went back to Germany, had another baby that was born in Landstuhl Army Hospital in Germany, and then we came back to the States, and we were, because of my job, my husband was a mechanic, and so because of my job, we had to go where I was needed, because, you know, you can just mechanic anywhere. So um, I was, we were stationed at Fort Benning, Georgia, and I was stationed at the hospital, and he was, you know, somewhere else around the post. And then, um, let's see, my phone's about breaking. So, okay. okay. Um, let's see. So after that, um, let's see, my husband, he was sent to Iraq first in 1990. And then they wanted to send me, and I said, well, what about our two children? And 
and they said, what about him? So I said, mm, you better let me out of this man's army because this is not for me. And they said, but you have a family care plan. So they went, they started asking about my family tree, well, what about your siblings? We give your children to your siblings? And I said, no. And they said, what about your husband's siblings? Well, because the two brothers, one was um, Marine Reserves, and I said, he could go at any time. And my brother was in the Air Force, and I said, he's already in Turkey, and that's already, you know, a foreign country, so he can't have kids there. So, um, and on my husband's side of the family, I just added a child to each one of his siblings. And, you know, by the time that, those numbers were adding up. They were like, okay, okay, okay. We're going to say you have a, fam a failed family care plan and we're going to tap you out. But you have to go over to Iraq to, and then process out. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm here. So, and a reserve unit person that couldn't go, they were going to attach me to this reserve unit. And I'm like, I'm active duty. How does that work? They said, don't worry about it. You deploy, and I said, well, let me deploy, I'll process and then come back. And to come all the way back, they said, as long as you serve time in the in the in country, or in, in that zone, I qualified for the, uh, to be a veteran of foreign wars. So that's how I'm here. So I uh, got out of the military, um, went to college, um, got my nursing degree, and started doing nursing. Then I thought, mm, okay, um, followed my husband to Fort Jackson, South Carolina, and a job came open as medical supply, and I thought, well, that gets me away from all this patient people. Uh, started doing, um, I was a purchasing agent for a basic training unit in Fort Jackson, and then it was kind of a, uh, this is too much from husband and family. My children were gone and in college at this time and I thought, it's time to go back home. It's time to go to Missouri. So my husband was like, well, I'm staying here. And I'm like, well, I guess we got a divorce. So uh, divorce, came back home, um, and here I am. I joined the American Legion first, then I joined the VFW. Well, no. The DAV helped me with my VA claim, and so I joined them first. So I've been a member of them since 2010. And when they helped me with my claim, um, I became 100%. And then that's when I said, let me get with other organizations. So I got with the American Legion, and I was in an all-women's post, which I've never heard of an all-women's post. Um, and I see why, because women are too catty. So I switch. I, I I let my yearly membership lapse in American Legion, but I'm, they still have me listed somehow. Um, and then I joined the VFW and was the adjutant forever. And then last year they just came to me and said, "We want you to be commander." I'm like, "How do you go from adjutant to commander?" But they said, "We don't know, but that's going to be you." And so I've been commander. This is my second year as the post commander in Grandview, Missouri, here, and uh, post 8100. And that's why I'm here at the convention. So, thank you. Thank you for your service, country. Thank you for your service uh, to your post. Uh, did your uh, are you, you're just coming here to visit, or are you getting any are you getting any awards here? I'm uh, just coming to visit. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you close, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, is this your first convention? Last year was my first convention. Mm -hmm. Since it was local, I said, why not? Right. And uh, another past commander came with me. He was kind of showing me the ropes because he's been to a commander, I mean, uh, conventions before. Um, and he passed away in December. So I said, this is one way for me to honor him by coming back to this convention. And so I'm there. Well, we're certainly glad you came to this convention. Now we've knocked out Missouri. I don't know how it took us 15 interviews to get to Missouri. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I said. I'm like, we're home based. There's a lot of us here. How did this happen? Yeah. So, okay, thank well, you so much. Hey, thank you again for sharing and thank you for your service. Okay, thank you so Have much. Have a great convention. Okay, thank you.